welcome back guys and welcome to this tutorial all right so here we're going to actually get started with unity so uh in the previous tutorial we actually downloaded some assets from example some characters and some animations all right so i'm going to open unity so i have unity hub open and here we go all right so i'm actually using unity 2019.4.12 f1 all right so that's the version of unity i have so you could actually get the same version or probably i think any version will do all right any pretty uh earlier version from i think even 2017 will also do so all right so let's create a new project so we actually what we're actually going to do is we're going to start with a 3d project and later on we're going to upgrade the 3d project to a high definition uh, project all right so we're going to start small and then yeah go big so we're going to start as like the lowest quality and then we go to like a triple a quality all right so uh i'm just going to name this project bow and arrow right so bow and arrow so we're going to create our project so i think what we can do right now also is go to our downloads folder whilst unity creates our project for us and we are going to extract uh the asset we downloaded from Mixamo, the prolonged bow pack. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it uh, long bow. Right? Long bow. And uh, I'm actually going to extract everything here. So select everything and I'm going to drag it into this folder. So I have everything extracted for me, probably here. So everything is here now, looking cool, looking nice, looking decent. Uh, Unity has done creating our project. So we're gonna drag the longbow folder. Okay, I'm gonna drag this guy. Oh, find it difficult to drag this guy. All right, I'm gonna drag this guy and then drop him here in Unity. So Unity is important. The assets we actually downloaded from Mixamo. So compiling, really important, and then doing some fancy stuff here. So we have our folder here, the longbow folder. And uh, before we proceed, I actually like to do this. All right, we want to organize our project. These are like housekeeping rules. Right, we want to make our project look. Uh, presentable so we don't struggle finding anything so we're going to organize all our, our, everything we're going to use in our project into folders okay so we're going to create we're going to right click all right in our project view here right here in unity and then folder right here we're going to type we're going to create uh, the first thing is our scripts okay our scripts folder we're going to store our scripts here so everything that has to do with uh coding scripting all right it's going to go here and then the next thing is we're going to create a folder for all our assets so any assets we are going to use to create this game is going to be stored in the assets so it's going to be stored in the assets folder all right so the first item we want to put in the asset folder is this longbow here because it's an asset we're going to use, okay? It contains the animations and the characters we're going to, we're going to use in our game. So we are going to open the assets folder. Once we in there, we're going to look for the longbow. All right. Now, there's our longbow asset. You remember the character we downloaded, Erica Archer? Here she is. So this is the character we have here. Let's drag her into the scene and drop her here right so here she is okay so now basically our character doesn't look good than before remember 
when we view the character in Mixamo, she had like textures, there were colors and all that, but this looks raw, right? So we're going to fix that. To fix that, we click on our character in, in the project view, all right? Then we come here to our inspector and then click on the rig, all right? The rig button here. The first thing we want to do is we actually want to make this character a humanoid okay this structure over over here looks like a human all right so the model has to be a humanoid of course so let's just take it like that all right and let's apply so humanoid characters need to be set to humanoid exactly as they are except the character the uh, item you are going to use in your game or character or asset or whatever is not actually a human and has a different like configuration so that will be set to maybe legacy or generic or whatever whatever all right any of those the next thing is we click on materials here and first we need to extract our textures all right so our, our character is looking raw so we need to extract our textures to give our character that final look that final touch so first we're going to create a new folder here and then i'm going to name this folder textures to store my characters textures all right then we click here select folder so it's going to import the textures of our character and then here unity is telling us that our character has some normal normal maps all right sorry normal maps that have to be fixed okay we have to fix this normal maps all right so unity has to recognize these image files as normal maps so they can be applied to our character so we click on fix now and then it fixes the normal maps for us the next thing is we go to extract our materials so we go to extract create a new folder and again we're going to store our materials here then select this folder the materials are extracted and if you go to the textures you can see our characters textures are here and in the materials folder we just created these are the materials all right so all these have been applied to our character now you could see our character is looking pretty decent now looks good and we could actually view the character so now we actually set the character to humanoid the last the next thing we have to actually do is uh, set our animations to humanoid so these are the animations for our character and you could see when you click on them they are actually all generic all right so i'm going to click on the first one and then hold shift and then select the last one to select everything here all right to select my entire animations and then I'm going to click on the generic tab here and set the animations to humanoid and then click on apply. I'm going to take some time, re-import and then apply the humanoid bone configuration to the animations. Alright. So it's actually important. Getting things done pretty decent. So we could actually start doing something. Alright. So it's taking some time, but hopefully it will be done. Yeah, so here we go. All right, so this guy is done. So when you click on any of the animations, now you can see we are all set to humanoid. So we're going to click on the animation tab here to actually preview the animation so in this small window down here my bottom right corner i can preview the animation so when i press play you actually see the animation play all right but you could see uh some of the, the animation data looks really really bad you could see the leg over here the animation not playing very well you could see the character's head is kind of like tilted so let me actually 
open it wide for you so let me just so what I did is just shift space okay shift and space will actually make this view a full screen so you could see the animation not looking quite good the character's head tilting really really bad doesn't this doesn't look actually good so there are some few issues with the animations all right so I'm still going to select the first animation and then shift select the last animation and then I'm going to click on the rig tab again now this avatar definition here let's click on this button that says create from this model we're going to select the last option which says copy from other avatar so after selecting that you're going to you're going to see you have an option here called source where it's actual, actually giving you an option to select an avatar so we are going to select uh, this icon here the small icon here and then we are going to select this the first option here the erica archer avatar so we want to copy the avatar from the character model itself into the animations all right because these animations were designed for this character so we need to import the avatar definition for this character into the animation so once we have this selected we are going to click on apply it's going to re-import and then fix all those errors we are facing with our animation so once we have that done we could actually so we we have to go we have to go to the animation tab again so we can preview the animation you can see now because we've actually selected an avatar definition it replaced the default character we actually uh, that was actually here with our original character and that has given us the opportunity to view our animation with original character you can see now it looks good she's not tilting a head weird like previously so that weird tilting no longer exists in this animation so you could see this is perfect so exactly as it's supposed to be and yeah so we have everything done all right so this tutorial is getting long so in the next tutorial we are actually going to start with uh, the character setup writing code for the character movement and then we'll see what goes on from there so thank you for watching this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one